So this question says, Vivian bought party hats and cupcakes for $71. So anytime I see a question that has some wording like this, we're, we're at about three and a half lines. Um, but anytime I see a question that starts to describe something and have some quantitative information along with it, I'm treating this like a translate word problem question, which means I'm not going to read the entire question. I'm going to just stop at the end of each sentence and make sure to write down any quantitative information that I read along with this relevant information. So this first sentence is basically telling me that hats, which I'll call H party hats, I'll just call H for hats, and cupcakes, so H plus C, is equal to 71, right? That is a translation of the first sentence. The next sentence says each package of party hats cost $3. So I'm going to say H equals three, but I need to know, I need to make sure I understand this is a package of eight, right? It's not a single hat package. Um, and each cupcake costs $1. All right, so that's interesting. So C is equal to $1, but the hats is a package of hats. Let me make sure I understand that. If Vivian bought 10 packages of party hats, well, that would mean that she spent 10 times those $3, which means she spent a total of $30. For the party hats, how many cupcakes did she buy? Okay, so I don't like the wording of this question because in the first sentence it just says party hats and cupcakes. It doesn't use this word packages, but I have to consider that that's all the only information provided regarding hats is in the package form. So I'm going to say um, she spent thirty dollars on hats. Again, H plus C equals seventy one. We know that when it comes to hats, the question is telling us that the party hats cost $3, the package of party hats cost $3, and each cupcake co costs $1, right? So that's $1 there. And she bought 10 packages of party hats. So for H, we're spending $30. So we have $30 plus C equals $71, subtracting the 30 from both sides. So I know that C equals 41. And now because each um, cupcake costs $1, that means there must be 41 cupcakes, right? Because that's, that's how we would get $41 to represent the cupcake value or the C value here. So our answer here should be 41. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense. I'm, again, I'm not a huge fan of using this word package. I don't think it was really necessary um, because it wasn't used in the first sentence here. However, it is what it is. This is the information we've been provided. It's very important that we knew how to translate and create this question, this, uh, this equation, H plus C equals 71. And if you follow along from there, you recognize, just as I did, the only information we're given regarding hats is that she spent $30, right? Because $3 per pack and bought 10 packs. And then we're asked to find C and we're told the total amount that she used, that she, that she paid. So it has to be 41. That's ha that has to be our correct answer here.